Bass from X Force again with Scott from X Force, and today we're doing something. Well, I should say a little bit more kitty friendly, but not necessarily just kitty friendly. These blasters are actually non-replica, non-replica, <laughs> and legal in two more states outside of Queensland. Yep. Yep. So Victorians, Tasmanians, take note. These is the Gel Strike Gel Blast XF21. All right, so obviously because, you know, that's uh, yours truly there. All right, so let's have a look at this puppy. So obviously the whole plan is not to look realistic. And not only that, but it, it kind of goes back to the old hopper fed. Because uh, it is a hopper fed. Because it is a hop fit, uh, and I know some of you guys are not too keen, but I actually don't mind the hop fit sometimes, especially if you're just having good fun in the backyard. Yeah. Because uh, they're super easy to reload. Uh, if you can do it while drunk. Yeah, pretty much. And if uh, you know you get a, you know, it's not shooting. You literally just shake them and off you go again. Shake and bake. Shake and bake, baby. So I'd actually use glow gels on these. You would. We get a torch, light it up. Yeah. A cheap little bit of fun for the kids to. At it's, night. Yeah. It's like go for one above Baghdad. Hmm. So they do come in this pretty little box, um, and inside you get two and a half thousand gels. You get your USB charger. Your seven point four volt battery. Tiny little thing. Um, you get your uh, bottle, you also get, as you can see here, two color fins, so you get your orange and blue, so you can have two teams, if you're getting a few of them for the kitties, you can play in a team scenario. Or you can have one for, if you have two kids, you know whose is whose, so they That's won't right. fight over it, if one breaks, you know who breaks their own toys. And of course, some safety glasses, which are very important. Um, just, yeah, if they're too young, get them some goggles. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. I, I can tell you, I've actually taken a couple home and had a nice little, uh, you know, battle with the, with the kids. Yeah. So, awesome bit of fun. Um, now, you might have seen these, uh, have been out now for a little bit last year I think or so and they were brought out under a brand called Surge a um, couple of differences these uh, the Surge has a built-in battery these don't I'm not a big fan of built-in batteries because that is a tiny little battery she gonna die. and she dies pretty quick well we killed it in about I think I killed it, my, mine the quickest because I was uh, pretty happy, happy tri on the trigger and I think I killed it in less than an hour. Yeah. Um, at least so, it's a JST connection on a small battery so yeah. at least you go, hey, you buy them, you get, get some gels, get another battery and you set for hours of fun while you run around. The idea up. is I pull this out, I put another battery in and off I went again. Hmm. With a built-in battery, you uh -uh. You gotta wait, you gotta go charge it. So that was really cool. I think it's a better idea. Well, it saves you having, you know, run around <clears> with the kids, batteries die, they whinge, you get a headache, you wanna stop. Mm. But very comfy. Yeah. Um, you basically got your on and off switch there, so that's your safety. <laughs> um, and your batteries under there, you can actually screw the battery uh but it is it's not an easy one to open so if you've got really young kids but if you do want to screw it shut you can so they can't get to the battery Safety is important yep um otherwise the fiends and that they're pretty easy to uh change as you can see <laughs> he's out of practice yep uh i've been messing around with this one and i don't think i've put it back quite right so. more than likely not no um <laughs> So uh, that's that's pretty much it. Other than, otherwise, with the bottle, you just turn it upside down as such. You feel it. 
Get about 150 in there, so it's enough to keep them busy for a while. I'd say probably you get more in, in a bottle than uh, 150, but... Um, and uh, that's pretty much it. Simple and fun. Very simple, is... very simple, very much fun. Get them so. in quick so they got fun for the holidays, rest of the holidays. Yeah. Um, now, the only other thing I was going to point out, which I found, um, if you got your kids with these batteries, they are quite small, and if they continuously fire them, like literally my youngest one is quite young, um, they can, they will drain the battery really quick, and they will literally kill it quite quickly. So, um, you know, try and get a couple, or try to tell them, hey, just, you know, don't keep your finger on, because they, basically, they overheat. Yeah. Uh, he just kept his finger on the trigger and he kept shooting. But anyway, it's a good thing to keep note of the the, the sound and the cadence of your blasters, especially mm. with with any battery and gel blasters. Once you notice that uh, the cadence drops, so the from a, a higher speed to a lower, disconnect, charge it up. That's why it's good to get a couple of batteries. So yeah. just so you keep the life of your battery going over a longer period of time. That's right. So and um yeah if you've got a couple of them you can swap them out quite easily now i don't know i haven't tested bigger batteries or because the compartment in here is quite small as you can see it literally goes like that it doesn't go like that because that's um your motor is about there somewhere uh it's got the similar gearbox as i think something similar to the old skd 1911s with the hopper fed we save around um, but yeah the battery compartment is not the biggest so uh, but i'll test a couple of smaller batteries in there and see what sort of what else fits um, follow our facebook pages because that's will actually post up yeah i'll have a look a bit fits, more so. into it so but yeah otherwise awesome bit of fun yeah and like i said in Victoria, I know some people will probably uh, jump on me and say, nah, Victoria gel blasters are banned. No, they're not. I know the police might have said it, but there is no such law in Victoria. I know 100% in Tasmania, it's all imitation. So, Victoria and Tasmania, there is no gel blaster ban. It's basically imitation based. So. If you've got a gel blaster that imitates a real gun, doesn't matter about the color, it's, as long as the shape is there, yeah. they're illegal. Whereas this, well, they're not illegal. You can get a permit to own one. Uh, I'm not gonna go into the legalities, but these, because they're not shaped as a gun, uh, we know for a fact that they are. If Replica is a one-to-one -one reasonable facsimile of the mm. likeness of the original. So yeah. these being a sci-fi blaster, pretty much no just. problem um, so I mean, they look pretty nerfy as well so yeah. you know um, that's all good of fun but in saying that <laughs> I should note still the stop and think uh, all times don't go out in, like even if you got these you know don't go out in public like we you know we were playing in the backyard uh, let your neighbors know like my neighbors they all know what we're doing they know we've got them, they know what I do. Uh, but let your neighbors know and stay in the backyard or, or don't do not Outside go in a, of public. Yeah, do not go in a public park or some somewhere like that. Because it doesn't matter, you got this, somebody will just freak out and call the cops, you know? And you even, will... even in Queensland, on crown crown land hmm. or vision of public, all you need is someone to hit on triple O. Yep. So So let's play it smart. Have fun with them and uh yeah just have fun guys um we'll go down we'll shoot them okay. look they're not i can tell you i was shooting the the younger kids and there was no problems i'm not gonna say but well i've got kids that are quite young i've got from 14 year old down to well my one year old wasn't playing but <laughs> i got fairly young ones six year olds and that and none of them were crying but we just had a good just Healthy lots of fun, fun. 
outside lots, in the sun, like a bit of yeah. exercise. Running around, lots of fun. But they're not very strong and that's probably a good thing mm. if you're going to use them. So they're not really an adult thing, but I mean, mm. don't get me wrong. Hey, CQB. I was having lots of fun as well with them. So uh, mm. all in all, if you're just doing it in the backyard without trying to cause a whole lot of pain and everything mm. else, None of us walked away with wells, but we knew we got hit because we felt the gels. Uh, so it ain't HPA, but it's just as much fun for, <laughs> for giggles. Yeah, don't HPA it. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, let's go down, shoot them, and show you guys how they go. Hey guys, Fass here with the XF21s at our range. So I've gone both orange, blue. So. A uh, little bit of dual wielding because you know I just love it. You like your akimbo. Oh yeah. So there is no safety. There's no semi. It's just straight Apart up from full auto only. because we got plenty of ammo in these uh, puppies. So. I don't know if you can see, but that's going pretty damn straight in that. Uh... Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So now I've just sort of shown these blues have been sitting around for a little while, uh, so they've a little bit more shrunk. So make sure that the gels that you use are not the ultra hard. Uh, the ultra hard will not work well enough in these. So, ultra hard are made for more the modern stuff, the gas. These do like the, the older colored gels because they got a little bit more uh, flex in them. Uh, they're a little bit bigger and so they squeeze through and give that bit more pressure behind the gel. So, for example, this one's strong. These gels are shrunken a little bit so they're not going as hard. But uh, I'm going to show you guys our FPS test. I should put it up here. And no, I think that's enough. You actually see those fins light up pretty well when you're doing that. Yeah? Right. Oh, well, there you go. So, look. They're sort of your standard numbers for most uh, electric pistols. And that's not bad. That's nearly hitting that 140, the high th one uh, 130s. That's, that's pretty consistent, actually. Very consistent numbers. Um, these are perfect. And I'm not kidding you guys. They're perfect for those backyard battles with your kids. Because... You don't want to be shooting your kids at 200 or 300 FPS. I mean, some of you may be. Oh, me now, I want to be nice to my poor kids, you know. They're fragile little things. Especially those younger ones around 6 and 4. Um, yeah. It's also good to teach them, um, you know, firearm. safety and firearm. This, this is a great start. So, alright. Let the... Uh, we're going to turn off those lights and show you what these guys look in the dark too. Shoot this awesome fun in the dark as well. So if you want to have those night games, um, these are perfect. Um, anyway, so look, I know we normally do the crazy, the new stuff, the metal, but you know it's nice to go back to some good old fashioned gel blasting fun like we used to right at the start. At the start, the old days, you know, best five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so these are great, and it's good to be able to give the Victorians and Tasmanians something that they can just literally buy off the shelf and not have to I know the, the Tasmanian guys they're modifying their nerf putting gen 8 gearboxes and whatsoever you know yeah it ain't your gen 8 or your v2 gearbox but it's a good bit of fun and if you're gonna have some 
kid games and all that sort of thing. Birthday parties, cheap presents. These are great. Anyway, hopefully that helps guys. I hope you guys uh, like that. Remember, stop and think. I know they're not realistic, but still make sure you put them away somewhere, close them up, put them in a bag, go to the, the fields with your blasters and let's keep this sport safe. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time with some more good stuff.